In this lesson, I'll introduce you to some of the most important expressions and verbs to talk about what we do at the beginning of the day. The very first verb that we need to look at is the verb to wake up. In Japanese we say okimas okimas to wake up. I'll introduce this to you in the polite form of the verbs and later in the lesson we'll look at putting those verbs into the te form so we can join the ideas together. We'll start off with to wake up. Okimas to wake up. Okimas. The next thing we often do after waking up is shawa o abimas. Traditionally, Japanese people have an ofuro or a bath at the end of the day. We Westerners and a lot of other people tend to have showers at the beginning of the day. Therefore, shawa is written in katakana because it's not the traditional way of washing in Japan. Shawa. The verb abimas to take a shower. Shawa o abimas. The picture here is a picture of a traditional Japanese school uniform. But if we're just putting on clothing, we would say yo fuku o kimas. If we were putting on our uniform, we could say sei fuku o kimas. Generically or commonly, yo fuku o kimas. We put on our Western style clothing. Fuku is the Japanese word for clothes. Yo fuku literally means Western clothing. Most Japanese people wear yo fuku every day of their lives. On special events, weddings and ceremonies and festivals, you may see a lot of Japanese people in kimono. But traditional clothing is only worn on those special events. So more commonly you would hear, Yo fuku o kimas. I put on my clothes. Yo fuku o kimas. In the morning, the morning meal is called asa gohan. Asa meaning morning. Gohan meaning meal. Asa gohan breakfast. Asa gohan o tabemas. I eat breakfast. Asa gohan o tabemas. Japanese traditionally had rice, miso soup and maybe some egg or some fish for breakfast. Often they have coffee and toast or tea and toast these days as well. After breakfast, ha o Migakimas. We clean our teeth. Ha o migakimas. Ha being teeth or being the object identifier. Migakimas literally means to polish. Migakimas. Ha o migakimas. To clean our teeth. Then we generally leave the house, house or home, uchi, o demas, demas to leave or to exit, uchi, o demas, to leave the house, uchi, o demas. If you're a school student, you may take the bus to school, basu being a bus, de, meaning by means of, gakko, being school, ni, to go in the direction of, and ikimas, literally meaning to go. Basu de, by bus, gakko ni, to school, ikimas, I go to school by bus. If you're a working person, Japanese people use the generic word kaisha. Kaisha, meaning company. But it also is used for most forms of work. Kaisha. And this time we're going to go by train. 
densha means train densha de by train kaisha ni ikimas by train to the company go densha de kaisha ni ikimas i go by train to the company so it's easy to look at these sentences or these concepts as individual concepts but we can also join them so rather than saying i wake up and take a shower we can actually say i wake up and i take a shower we have to change the mus polite verb into the te form most of these verbs we're working with are called weak verbs so we just remove the mus and add te if you're unsure of the te form have a look at the tutorial on te forms of verbs so okimas being a weak verb we simply remove the mus and change that to te and our sentence then becomes okite shawa o abimas i wake up and i take a shower okite shawa o abimas Our next two expressions, yo fuku o kimas, to put on our clothes, and asa gohan o tabemas, to eat our breakfast, we can join those two sentences by looking at kimas, knowing it's a weak verb, taking the mas away, changing it to kite, and our sentence becomes yo fuku o kite. Asa gohan o tabemas. We could even add another expression onto the end of that and say yo fuku o kite, asa gohan o tabete, ha o migakimas. I put on my clothes, eat my breakfast, and brush my teeth. Yo fuku o kite, asa gohan o tabete. Ha o migakimas. So we can actually put three activities together using the te form. Any more would get a little bit clumsy. So stick to two or three activities joined with the te form. Uchi o demas. Demas is also a weak verb. So we could change that to uchi o dete. And if you're a school student going to school, by bus, uchi o dete, basu de gakkou ni ikimasu becomes one sentence. I leave the house and go to school by bus. Uchi o dete, basu de gakkou ni ikimasu. If you're a working person who goes to the company or goes to work, you would say, uchi o dete, densha de kaisha ni ikimasu. I leave the house and go to work by train. Uchi o dete, densha de kaisha ni ikimasu. So let's have a look at all of those sentences together in one paragraph to explain our morning routine using the te form on the weak verbs. Okite. Shawa o abimas. I wake up and have a shower. Yo fuku o kite, asa gohan o tabete, ha o migakimas. I put on my clothes, eat my breakfast, and brush my teeth. Uchi o dete, densha de kaisha ni ikimas. I leave the house and go to the company by train. And there you have a simple outline of your daily routine.